And Justin, we've been anticipating you coming to the Flying Cruise Inn for several months now. It's a beautiful day here at the Flying Cruise Inn in Marion. Tell us a little bit about yourself. This is the FLS Microjet. It's the world's smallest jet airplane. I've been licensed as a pilot for 22 years and flying just a little bit longer than that as a young child. But I also spent about 12 years in the military. I currently fly the A-10 Warthog for Arkansas Air National Guard. This airplane is just something I did a lot of research and development on to, to help bring it back, to bring something to the air show community. And, and I really want to bring kids out, inspire them, inspire them to get involved with science, technology, engineering, math, and this is absolutely the tool to do it. Even though it's so light, I've tested it, it'll go 320 miles an hour. Today, when you're flying it, how fast are you going to be going? About 250 miles an hour past the crowd. I'm going to pull it straight up into the vertical when I start my performance, and it's going to be unbelievable from there on. Justin, uh, most of us haven't seen an airplane like this. What can we actually expect all throughout your air show? I think just pure excitement. The first thing you're going to think is, how is he going to get in there? And then I'm going to get in it. We also want to thank Central Indiana Ethanol. Uh, Justin, Central Indiana Ethanol brought you here. And without them, we couldn't, we couldn't do that. I do appreciate their sponsorship. Central Indiana Ethanol made this possible for me to be here. It's a small airplane, but I'll tell you, it's not a cheap airplane. It takes, it takes a company like that to have the vision to be able to, to see what this can do to inspire kids and bring them out and have me talk with them. Yeah, good seeing you. There's not hardly an aviator flying today that hasn't heard of, B, of Jim Beattie. And Jim, you, uh, you designed these auto cycles out here but very special, and I know it's special to you, is this BD-5J. It's very modified, the FLS Microjet. How does it make you feel after all these years to see this airplane here on the ramp today? It makes me feel real good to see somebody this big able to get in that. <laughs> no, good to see the airplane, good to see, he flies it beautifully. It's very enjoyable. Jim, uh, when you thought this airplane up, uh, did you ever imagine that this many years later you'd be seeing it? No, absolutely not. We were just happy to have a few of them flying at the time and then more and more. And, and I never thought they would last this long. Well, a lot of people think that the auto cycle you molded after the BD-5. Is that true or was it a whole different design? Well, the engineering was the same, but actually physically with different lines on the drawing table, yes. Well, Jim, thank you for being here. It's going to be exciting to see your airplane fly at the Flying Cruise Inn.